All right, hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the impact of the war. So just the impact of the Civil War, how it affected people. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the impact on African Americans. And African Americans served in the Union Army and Navy after the Emancipation Proclamation. So remember the Emancipation Proclamation did two things. Uh, the first thing it did was it freed slaves in rebelling states. So in the South, uh, the slaves were free, but it also allowed African Americans to serve in the Union Army and the Navy. And the Navy is just where there's boats. And African Americans served as part of contraband armies. That's what they were called. And enslaved African Americans seized the opportunity presented by the approach of Union troops to achieve freedom. So slaves joined the Union Army. If you were a slave and you saw the Union Army coming, a lot of them, they ran over there because you were going to be free once you got there. You can join the military. Uh, you weren't a slave anymore. And many fought with distinction and were eventually paid salaries that were equal to those of white soldiers. And this just is a picture shows a soldier and there's some uh, slaves that are running over to him because they want their freedom. All right. The impact on common soldiers. Warfare often involved hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, yes, they had guns, but lots of times they were fighting close to each other and they ended up just using their fists, knives, uh, hitting each other with their weapons. And they also had swords. After the war, especially in the South, soldiers were turned home to find destroyed homes in poverty. So they went back to their house uh, after the war. They were poor. They didn't have any money. And soldiers on both sides lived with permanent disabilities. Uh, disabilities where you're not able to do something anymore. Uh, this is a soldier right here that lost both of his arms. A lot of soldiers lost their legs. Uh, a lot of them were injured and they were couldn't walk anymore and they were permanently disabled after the war. The impact on women, uh, women manage homes and families with scarce, uh, which means few resources. Uh, the men were out fighting the wars. Uh, women were at home with their kids uh, they had to manage everything. They didn't have much money. They faced poverty and hunger. And there's something known as the bread riots in Richmond, Virginia, which this is a picture right here. Uh, because the women in the, especially in the Southern states, they were poor. They had no money for their family. Uh, here, the woman in Richmond, they actually rioted. They went in downtown, they broke into stores, they went into bakeries and they stole food from the bakeries, a lot of bread. That's why it's called the bread riots. And they assumed new roles in agriculture, nursing and war industries. Uh, the men weren't able to do these things because they were fighting. So people who built weapons, uh, men couldn't do it because they're in the war. So women built weapons. They became nurses. You think today uh, most nurses are women, but back then they weren't. This is really the first time women started becoming nurses and they had to work the fields. Men were out fighting, so they had to do the agriculture. And last thing we're talking about is the impact on the South. Uh, southern states were devastated by the Civil War. Homes and farms were destroyed. Railroads and businesses destroyed during the war as well. Uh, think General Sherman's March to the Sea. Uh, that's where he marched to Savannah, Georgia. And remember, he just destroyed everything. He got old train tracks. He bent them. He destroyed everything. And the economy of the South declined. They weren't able to trade. They couldn't get food anywhere. Uh, if you look at this building, I mean, that sums it up. It's hard to have an economy when uh, your cities are destroyed. Okay, the last thing with this particular slide where it says economy of the South declined went down, uh, make sure you write all of this down. That's very important, especially after the war. And the last thing for today is this is the Confederate flag. Uh, it's important to know that that is the Confederate flag. Sometimes you still see it today. A lot of people find it offensive if they see it. Uh, but when the Southern states succeeded, when they left the United States and started their own country called the Confederacy, uh, this was their flag. It was the Confederate flag. 
So on the back of your paper, I want you to draw the Confederate flag. And you just have to know when you see it, uh, that's the Southern states, that's the Confederacy. Um, yeah, so go ahead and do that. Like I said, very short slide today. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks.